Hey guys, how we doing today? Just, I've been reading a little bit of uh, Napoleon Hill's work lately, and uh, I've read some of his books in the past, but uh, I've been um, uh, reading more of his work here recently and listening to several interviews he's done and uh, a couple of uh, seminars he's done. So the last three or four days, I've been burying myself on a little bit of Napoleon Hill because I haven't uh, done anything with his work in quite a while. I would say, you know, over a year, I haven't looked at any of his stuff. So it's pretty cool revisiting a lot of the stuff that I, uh, I'm starting to recollect from I uh, had from what I had previously uh, previously learned from him, and one of the coolest things uh, that I came across today was in some readings. Um, he actually had a conversation with uh, Andrew Carnegie. Of course, Andrew Carnegie is uh, one of the wealthiest men that ever lived. Uh, you know, basically uh, uh, started the steel industry and got all that up and running. And uh, Napoleon Hill was asking him one day, you know, what what is it that makes you so successful? And Andrew Carnegie just, uh, he says, he looked me in the eyes and he said, you know, Napoleon, I have no idea how to make steel. I have no idea how to market steel. But what I do know is how to create masterminds. And then he went on to explain what a mastermind was in Napoleon Hill. Mastermind is when you get uh, several people together that are basically, according to Andrew, are more intelligent than you are on how things work in a certain industry that you want to uh, accomplish things in. Andrew basically told this group of men what he wanted to accomplish and said basically do it so after they were given instructions of what to do they all put their minds together and figured out a way to make it happen figured out a way to um, make the steel and figured out a way how to market it and figured out how to bring it to the world and basically revolutionized the way we did business here in america now napoleon um also asked you know what for someone else that doesn't have the resources that you may have had to start with what and he said i didn't have any resources really to start with either so what andrew did according to him was he would he created his first mastermind in his head now this may sound a little hokey to some of you but this is what andrew did and obviously we see his results were just phenomenal and um napoleon did the same thing napoleon started with his first uh, mastermind group it was started from what uh, andrew and napoleon call from within they basically would go into a meditative state and they would uh, counsel, seek counsel from people in their minds that they wanted to get advice from. And this can literally be anybody. Now, according to Napoleon, this worked for Andrew and this has also worked for Napoleon and countless other people that have used this practice. And believe it or not, in the book Think, Think and Grow Rich, which was written by Napoleon Hill, this was a practice that was previously taken out of the book. I believe it's been inserted back in, but I haven't read that copy. I read the, uh, the like one of the first copies printed and this practice was not in there. But I was told that this practice has been put back into the book because uh, now people are more accepting to it. But basically what the concept of this is, is you seek counsel from people. It can be someone like Jesus or Abraham Lincoln were some of the examples that were given. Um, and I was thinking myself, I haven't done this practice, but I'm going to do it. And I think I'm going to, you know, in my mind, I want to seek counsel from people like Richard Branson and uh, Vision Lakiani and Napoleon Hill. So in your mind, you actually have these characters sitting at a round table and you actually ask advice from them. And the cool thing about this is Napoleon said when he did his first mastermind that I think Abraham Lincoln was one of the people in his mastermind group to start with. And he said after a while, after a few meditative sessions asking Abraham Lincoln for advice, Abraham Lincoln actually started taking on its own characteristics and started saying and doing things that wasn't actually coming from Napoleon. So he said he doesn't understand how it works, but he knows it works. At some point in time, you will start to receive advice from these people in your mastermind from within, as Napoleon calls it that will, you know, give you the resources and things you need to do to take the next step. And of course, that will lead to the actual physical realm uh, mastermind of people that you actually can start to employ and pay for their um, contributions to what you're trying to get accomplished. So for people kind of like us that don't have the resources to pay, you know, people a ton of money, we have, we can utilize the resource of a mastermind from within. We create it and we meditate on it. And then we just, you know, ask questions and sit and listen. Now, of course, of course, maybe the first couple of times we try this, it may not work the way we want it to. But as Napoleon says, anything worthwhile is worth doing over and over and over. So you got to keep at it and you got to believe that it's going to work and it will, according to Napoleon and Andrew. And just like I say, the proof is in the pudding. Just look at their results. Phenomenal results on both men, on both ends. So that's uh, just something I wanted to throw out there to you guys today. Um, this is another example of what we can do if we're in a place where we don't know what to do this is one exercise we can start to utilize right here right now and uh, ho hopefully it'll help us uh, move forward or help you move forward too because I'm gonna start utilizing this uh, exercise and um, in that way we'll see what the future oh there is one other cool little thing I wanted to mention about Andrew Carnegie 
even though Andrew Carnegie, you know, he said he knew nothing about steel. He knew nothing about the marketing of steel, but he did know how to manage people and how to keep all these guys working together in harmony. And at some point he realized that it, that had even stepped past him and he wanted to hire someone to handle that. And he hired uh, Charles Schwab. And at the time he paid Charles Schwab a million dollars a year to harm, get these guys in the, in this business to harmonize. And at that time, a million dollars a year was just, that's a ton of money. That's some serious money back in the day. But they, according to Andrew, Charles Schwab was the most indispensable man in the world because he was the best motivator of people at the time. So, and also Andrew also says, why would you do something yourself when you can get someone else much smarter than you to do it? So that's another concept, you you know, we can start to use is, you know, if, just basically become a, uh, a master of people. I mean, not to manipulate them in any way, shape, or form, but you know, you utilize them to get done what you're trying to get done, but they are heavily compensated in the process too, so it's a win-win for everybody. Never take advantage of people. Never manipulate them. Let them know up front. Be extremely transparent. Utilize the mastermind system. Utilize the mastermind system within, and always realize that there's someone else out there that can probably uh, accomplish the job a little better than you. You just have to find them, work with them, get them on board with your goals, make it part of their mission. Your mission's their mission and then that way you'll be able to achieve some amazing and great things all right guys y'all take care love y'all